Hi, my name is Simone. I'm the owner of Canine Impossible Dog Training in Penticton, British Columbia. I wanted to make a video for you guys about playing tug of war with your dog. Um, a lot of people are concerned about playing tug of war with their dog. They think it could make their dog aggressive or it's very uncontrolled. The dog is very rough. It's very inconsiderate of them and it's jumping and mouthing them. Um, so there are definitely some concerns that can come up playing tug of war. And I just want to explain you a little bit about what it is or how you can actually play tug of war in a proper controlled manner with your dog so it's fun for the both of you. So tug of war can actually be a really great game for you and your dog to build relationship between the two of you, um, to practice some training and get some really good obedience in, into your training. Like playing tug of war appropriately is very for fulfilling for your dog um, but it also really teaches him good impulse control because especially if you have a high drive dog like my Taz is and my Durian as well um, it takes a lot of impulse control for them to not just jump at that toy and trying to to pull to pull on it when you play tug of war it's very important that it's really a, a game between the two two of you you and your dog it's not just one is trying to get the toy and the other one is going to lose. It should be kind of like equaled out evenly so each of you can win one at a time. So some people think it's always the owner that should win, right? The, the dog can never have the toy. That shouldn't be it. That's not fun for anybody. It should be something that you, both of you have fun with. When you are playing tug of war with your dog, it should be a controlled game. That's very important to make it safe for everybody. Um, you should have some, have some rules that everybody has to consider so your dog understands. It's not just a free for all. There is some rules. We all have to play by the rules so we can actually play that safely. So there is some basic obedience or some very solid basic obedience your dog should know to play tug of war properly. There's two things that we recommend which is a very solid sit command and a very solid out or drop it command, whatever you want to call it, so the dog can let go of the toy on command. And that's pretty much it for obedience commands. This is what your dog should know. Then we make up a few rules to make this a safe game for you and your dog. And the rules for one is, is if you as as the owner have the toy in your hand and you're not ready to play your dog is not allowed to just grab it he's not allowed to just jump on you so if I have a toy in my hand I can just grab it um, if I have this toy in my hand Taz is not allowed to just grab it even in play right now he's probably like ah I don't care that much but if we start playing if I'm having this in my hand and I'm not offering it to him he's not allowed to just grab it Another rule is if I ask him to let go, he has to let go immediately and he's not allowed to jump after it. And when he has let go, before I offer the, the toy to him again, he usually has to sit. Or you can also practice other commands. You can actually ask your dog to perform other commands. You can practice down, you can practice stay. There's so many things you can practice with this, but that way you can actually play safely with your dog. So I'm going to play some tug of war with Taz here and you can just see how I implement our rules into the tug of war. Taz, can you sit? Good boy. Are you ready? Take it. Yes, good boy. Come on, take it. Good boy. boy. Yes, good boy. Good job. Take it. Good. Take it. Good boy. Yeah, come on. Good. Good boy. Yes. Good job. Good boy. Out. Good boy. Take it. Yes, good boy. Come on. Come on. Yeah. Good job. Good job. Oh. Good. Out. Sit. Down. Good boy. Take it. Yes, good job. Come on. Come on. Yes. Yes, good boy. Good job. 
Good boy. So as you can see, he has to wait until I ask him that he can actually uh, take the toy. He's not allowed to jump. He's allowed to jump during the game as long as he's not mouthing my hand. So that's very important. He's not allowed to bite my hands or anything. Um, like you see, whenever before he can have it again, he has to at least sit. I might ask him for another command as well, just to practice. And then at the end, I let him have the toy. He can, he can celebrate with it and he can celebrate his success that he won for one time because before that I asked him to let go and he did. So why not let him win? Um, so it, it's very simple, but it keeps us both safe. It keeps us, keeps the game controlled. And that way you can really have fun with your dog. As you saw, I don't mind if he's getting a little bit excited and a little bit drivey because we do have that control. But in the beginning, um, if you play tug of war with your dog and you're not so familiar with it yet, go slow. Don't let them go like into full pulling with making noises in the beginning because that in that way you might lose that control. They might be too excited or too adrenalized to actually let go of the toy in that moment. So start slow. Make sure you have control with those commands, a good out command, a good sit command. And then you can just have fun with your dog and go play with them.